Well, old Santa Claus called me up the other day, and he asked if this year I could just go ahead and go get my Christmas present myself, because he didn't want to put his reindeer under the extra stress, so I said sure. So he brought me two ton this year. So I need to be worse this coming year, because I really could use probably three and a half, so I need to step up my game and... Uh, Maybe next year, you know, I'll get a full load. Most people probably wouldn't want this as a gift, but I heat my house with it, so I really can use more. So up yours, Kringle. I might just get more yet. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. And before we get started today, I have to do something that I promised to do several videos ago. For Eli, who wanted to know the width of this feeder house. So here you go, Eli. It looks like the actual part with the chain inside is 31 inches. And if you want to know the mounting distance from the two nubs that stick out, it looks like it's 47 thereabouts. So I guess we'll even give you the measurement in between the two. So let's see if I can do this one handed. That's what she said. Here we go. All right, in between it looks like about 42 and a half. So hopefully that answers your question. I don't know if you know where one of these heads is or not, but what it amounts to is he's got a 431 combine, I think. And he was trying to figure out if a head like this would fit it. So maybe those measurements will do you some good. Well, I wanna go out today and finish that fence we were working on but before we can do that i think we're gonna have to take more hay to these cows because they're eating fast faster than a fat girl at the country buffet so we're gonna have to do something i'm planning on selling some in the next few weeks so hopefully that cuts down on the feed intake and not being prepared didn't have this plugged in let's try a cold start on this Not even a lick. There we go. Let's let it sit a second. Sometimes I've heard that after you crank on them, you let it sit and the magic floats down into the cylinders. And then it gets the idea that it's time to run. I don't know how true that is, but it sure beats sucking down several cans of ether trying to start something. So we'll just let it sit. I guess I could use the heater, but a lot of times I find that it seems like that just runs the battery dead. So I guess let's do it anyway. Let's give it some crank. Come on. That just hurts my feelings. I mean, I can't really bear to do that. So it's time for the magician's friend. Sure. Let's see what happens now. What 
let it sit a second and warm up. There we go. I'm gonna check on our homemade gasket over here. It looks like it's holding. That uh, lift pump has only been on there maybe a year and a half and it has been pouring fuel out of the top of it and that gasket was no good so I took the gasket out of my old pump and put it in there and it lasted a while and then it started leaking so the other day I did the right thing and took an old inner tube and cut it and made something real quick I want to try to get some more appropriate gasket material to make that because it seems to be that you cannot just buy that gasket by itself you have to buy a whole rebuild kit if you can find it even and i think a new pump is like 150 180 dollars somewhere in there so it makes much more sense to buy a sheet of gasket material and fix it right but for now it's working I will say that given the choice, if I had to do it over again, I would not have made a diesel tractor my loader tractor. I really wish that I had found another gas tractor and made that the loader tractor, because in the winter, this is just super inconvenient. I mean, running it every day sometimes, and I think a gas tractor would have just been a better choice. I mean, if you plug it in, it's not as bad, but it seems like you never know when you're going to use it, you know, on the days that you don't plug it in, then you end up needing it, so, you know, and I know you're probably saying, well, why don't you just plug it in all the time? That makes me nervous to leave those plugged in all the time because I have seen occasions where they caught fire and then burnt down somebody's building, so I really would rather not go through that. So, we're doing it this way the best we can. But like I said, given the choice after using it for seven or eight years now, I think if you were gonna do a loader tractor that you were using in the winter, a gas tractor is a good choice. see a problem that we need to fix while I'm thinking about it or it won't get done we have a wire that has jumped out of its happy place and of course it's hot and of course I'm probably not gonna get it without getting zapped let's see here this is like a bad math problem here I think if I do this actually let's see there we go hard to do holding the camera but we got it I've been shocked many times so it's not a big deal but when I bought the last fence charger I wanted one that was gonna hold up and take care of weeds and stuff getting on the fence so I bought the one that had the cow upside down on fire on the box so it packs a pretty good punch if you're not watching what you're doing so but that should fix that up for now anyway until they find something else to destroy Fun. I love net wrap. It's my favorite. So handy. And doing it one handed again. Super convenient. Sure. 
we'll add this to the you know environmentally friendly plastic pile here What are you looking at? That's what I thought. That's a lovely shot you've got right there with my knife in your way. See if we can get stuck up to the axles. I doubt it this time of year, but you never know. They've made a pretty good mud pit out there. Oh, we're destroying the feeder too. That's good. We might as well the bale over here and then we'll see what kind of damage our poor feeder man if they're not rough on it I am I don't get off and pick those up no way when I got a tractor right here you can leave in the comments how you do it, but this is how I do it. Now we need to get back here where we can assess the situation. Let's see here. Oh. I just cannot have nice things. Let's leave it on one more time. They'll knock it off, but hey. is to hook the bale and not a cow. Come on. Look out. Look out. Don't be under there. That's a stupid place to be. There we go.
enough of that. Now, we'll come back for you in a minute. We need to get that gate closed. Yeah, we need to get some of you guys moved on. What do you think? Nothing? I didn't think so. Just having a good time, huh? Well, that should keep them happy for at least five or six hours. There is something coming up here, though, I will show you if it comes all the way up here and doesn't chicken out. What are the odds of that? Come on. Come on. Oh, you're not going to come up here? Well, we can go closer, maybe, without getting muddy. But several weeks ago, might have been a month ago now, Jack had a son. So, we'll see if we can capture him on film. There he is hiding looking right at us but I'm sure he will not let us get close there, there he goes back to mama and the other one looks like it's going to be having one very shortly so but that one's going to have one soon so we'll have to think of a name for that little feller but he's just kind of been hanging out down here they're kind of uh, private. They don't, like when she had that, she went way off in the woods for several days. And then when she came back up, surprise, baby donkey. So it's kind of like a, I guess donkeys are like old Victorian women, you know. They don't want you to know that they're going to have a kid. So they send you off to camp for, you know, the summer so you can have your kid. I don't know. But anyway, that's new. Well, once again, life took me down the rabbit hole of despair. So I did not get to go put my fence up around that field because I noticed we were having electric fence issues here. And I don't imagine it could have anything to do with the fact that the other day in the dark, I ripped down the electric wire with a hay bale. But anyway, I had to make my way up there and tie on and fix it. I didn't show that because I was sure that everybody would cry and complain about the very safe way I did it all by myself with a rickety aluminum ladder and this loader tractor. But anyway, I hope I got it fixed. I noticed over here when I was closing the gate that I was not getting a good spark. So we're gonna clean it up a little bit. Maybe even tighten it up a little bit. I'm still operating on a lot of grandpa's overhead design, which I'm not sold on, but it works. So, or it works until it doesn't, I should say. So let's try this. I wish this had a belt hook, but it doesn't. All right. Put that out of the way for a minute figure out what kind of knot system we got here. This is just bad. I don't remember. Oh, look at that. Not even... We'll table that. We may see about eliminating that one. Suppose we do this. And then we need us a loop to hook to. Do we have enough wire to do that? I don't know. Let's get greedy. See if we can pull even more. This is where we end up destroying stuff. Because we got too greedy. Come 
Will that reach over to here? I don't see why it wouldn't. It's different, but it should work. Probably about time for a new one. I think it'll work. It'll work till it won't. Let's tie our service loop over here. Okay. Well, that's different setup than what it's been like for a long time. So, have to get used to that. We will go hook it back up and see if we have a good shock over this way. We'll go put down our angle grinder too. Oh, it's almost dark and it's only like 5.30. What a wonderful time to be alive. You know, it's not like I enjoy being outside. We'll just go ahead and get dark at 5.30, that's fine. <coughs> Are we hitting, I don't hear any sparkles here. There's one. I think my gate spring handle might be getting not so gooder. Come on. There we go. All right. Now we'll go back over and see how we failed miserably now that it's too dark to do anything about it. Wonderful. Now, can we do this without electrocuting ourselves? Oh, we have sparkles. There we go. Well, beggars can't be choosers, I guess, at this hour. It has electric in it. So, in theory, that should keep them in overnight. Remember, if you like Oliver and White videos, hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment and tell me you liked it or tell me I'm an idiot. That's fine too. But leaving comments helps the channel. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in the next one.